Hello, Joana Colucci here with your 5-minute PharmDoc daily about the growth of corn ethanol processing plants in Brazil. In contrast to the United States, most Brazilian ethanol is made from sugar cane. However, Brazil has seen a surge in corn ethanol plants in the recent years. One main factor behind this expansion is the growth of Brazil's second crop of corn, also called safrinha. Before we continue, make sure to subscribe to watch more FarmDoc videos. Corn ethanol plants began appearing in the last decade in Brazil, especially in the center-west region. Corn ethanol production has made an impressive leap from 40 million liters in 2014 to 4.4 billion liters in 2023. Meanwhile, sugarcane ethanol has remained mostly stable at around 27 billion liters. Brazil is the world's second largest producer of ethanol, behind only the United States. Currently, there are 20 ethanol plants in Brazil using corn as the feedstock. They are located mostly in the states of Mato Grosso and Goiás in the center-west region. Nine plants are corn only, while the rest are flax plants producing ethanol from both sugarcane and corn. The construction of more plants are underway, potentially bringing Brazil's corn ethanol capacity to almost 10 billion liters by 2031. The first corn-only ethanol plant in Brazil was built in 2017 by FS Bioenergy, a joint venture of the Brazilian company Tapajós Participações and Submit Agricultural Group from Iowa, in the United States. The company has two facilities in the state of Mato Grosso, in the towns of Lucas do Rio Verde and Sorriso. Members of the FarmDoc team visited the unit in Lucas do Rio Verde last May. FS Bioenergy has started building a third facility in the town of Primavera do Leste, also in the state of Mato Grosso. Corn has some advantages over sugarcane, but also some challenges. Ethanol plants in Brazil are powered by burning biomass, since access to natural gas can be very expensive. Most ethanol production facilities use biomass from sugarcane as the fuel source. While sugarcane is its own biomass that can be used as fuel, it has a limited growing season. And it cannot be stored because it starts fermenting as soon as it's cut. Corn ethanol plants can produce year-round and make a variety of coal products. There are also some differences in the production efficiency of plants depending on which crop they are processing. Ethanol can be produced from sugarcane with a yield of 80 to 85 liters per ton, while the yield from corn is 410 to 430 liters per ton. However, sugarcane ethanol yields 6,500 to 7,500 liters per hectare, while corn ethanol yields 2,000 to 3,500 per hectare. Brazilian corn ethanol production could reach almost 6 billion liters in 2024, an increase of 35% over last season. As a result, corn ethanol is expected to account for almost 20% of all ethanol consumed in the country, up from 14% in the previous season. Mato Grosso leads production with 69% of total corn ethanol production in Brazil, followed by Mato Grosso do Sul, which is 19%, and Goiás, which is 11%, all of them in the center-west region. A significant part of the increase in corn ethanol production is due to the expansion of the second crop corn, or safrinha. It's planted mainly in the center-west states after the annual soybean harvest, typically in February. In the last decade, Brazil's safrinha's corn has more than doubled in volume, now accounting for more than three-quarters of Brazil's corn production. 
low-cost safrinha corn has been a positive factor for companies investing in corn ethanol production, in addition to expected increase in ethanol consumption in Brazil and abroad. However, some challenges limit the sector's growth, such as low population density in the center west, difficult transportation due to the poor roads, and limited storage capacity for corn and ethanol. You can read more about the recent corn ethanol expansion in Brazil in an article written by me, Nick Paulson, and Gary Shinitki. A link is in the description of this video. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. I will be happy to answer them. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more FarmDoc videos. See ya next time!